Russia has a new demand. All foreign buyers must pay in ruble for Russian gas. This will be enforced from the 1st of April. That's today. If the payments are not made, the contracts will be halted. In order to purchase Russian natural gas, they must open ruble accounts in Russian banks. It is from these accounts that gas payments will be made. If such payments are not made, we will consider this a default on part of the buyers with all the ensuing consequences. Nobody sells us anything for free and we are not going to do charity work. Therefore, in that case, existing contracts will be stopped. Now here's the catch. These are for so-called unfriendly countries. These include all members of the European Union. Russia supplies about a third of Europe's gas, so energy is the most powerful lever at Putin's disposal. This will also set out a new mechanism for buyers. They will have to transfer foreign currency to a special account at a Russian bank. This will then send rubles back to the foreign buyer to make payment for gas. The switch is meant to boost the Russian currency, which was hit which has hit record low since the invasion. Over the years, Europe's energy reliance on Russia has become a crucial shield for Putin. Moscow provides almost 40% of Europe's energy supply. For Germany, the figure is over 50%. If this dries up, Italy and Germany will be especially vulnerable. On your screens are all the pipelines linking Europe and Russia. You can see the map right here. Should Russia choose to cut off supplies, it could lead to absolute chaos across the continent. Energy costs would skyrocket, millions would have to deal with power outages. The West has rejected the move as a breach of existing contracts. All of these contracts are set in euros or dollars. Europe's big two, France and Germany, are preparing for all possibilities here. Even a scenario when Russian gas flows could be halted, something that would plunge Europe into a full-blown energy crisis.